Welcome to episode 100. That's all I got for the intro. I thought about doing something special for episode 100, but eh, I didn't really feel like planning anything out. I thought it'd be too much work. And this is played in full. I'm supposed to just do whole gameplays and everything like that, but I can make a whole bunch of wishes. Not the most, but a bunch. So, what better way to start off episode 100 than to do some wish rolls? And I would love to get Al Haven. Yunjin. I don't think I have her. I think this is the first one I have of her. Not a bad start. Not the best start, but not a bad start. Because, of course, I consider the best start being getting the five star. Getting a new character is a plus. And the Favonius Great Sword. Ooh. I didn't have that before? I was thinking I'd probably be able to enhance one, but I didn't have one, so I can't enhance it. Cool. All right. Next roll. Let's see what we got. No five star again, but let's see what our four star is. Or if we have multiple four stars. Cool Steel, Cool Steel, Ravenbow, Black Castle, Favorite Shadow. That's not a common word in my dictionary. I don't even know if that's a real, real word. word. Debate Club. Ooh. Crap. The Mandarin style name, I'm blanking on how to say it. But I do have a bunch of her. So she'll just be added. Freaking, I can't stand that I don't do names well. Uh, it's such a personal flaw. Five star! It's Al Haytham, right? It has to be Al Haytham, right? It can't be anybody but Al Haytham. It's a second Chi Chi! So it can be more than just Al Haytham. That means I could just upgrade Chi Chi that I have now. I already find Chi Chi dope. So this is pretty nice. The stringless. There it is. I found the string. Skyrider. Blood tainted. Yeah, I did not expect that. Let's go ahead and add that right now, shall we? When the Herald of Frost hits an opponent marked by a fortune-preserving talisman, Chi-Chi regenerates two energy. Hmm. Okay. Wait, why does... Oh, just because of the artifact, I guess. I was wondering why Aloy was getting one of these. How do you upgrade Aloy? Fatal Acceleration. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Upon scoring a crit hit, uh, increases attack speed. Xinyan, I think that's how you say her name. Her normal and charge attacks by 12% for 5 seconds can only occur once every 5 seconds. So it's like 5 on, 5 off. And you... We love you up really quick. If we can get you to 20 real quick and we can successfully get you to ascend. I don't know if we can, but I'm going to try. We can. We'll be able to get another fates. Oh, yeah, I got plenty of what I need for you. As the saying goes. I didn't even bother to look at what it is, but I just know there's a lot of it. Let's go ahead and claim this. We just need three more queen fates. In order to do a 10 roll there. Let's see about over here. We're doing another roll. I can already tell you that. I can tell you that right now. And I'm getting one of these just because, well, you know, we kind of ran out of the other fates, the intertwines. Wait, I don't need Battle Pass. That's not where I'm going. Wish! 
do another roll. And four stars, the max gun. I didn't even look to see how much Chi-Chi got upgraded. I just upgraded her. Oh, Yao Yao. I didn't have you yet. Now I do. I know she was introduced with this latest up two of her. Okay. Oh, and another Yanfei. Nice. Sweet. All right, let's see about... Can't get another fate here on the Stardust Exchange. We can get two more quaints. Why do I keep going to the Battle Pass? I do have ten. Yes. Do it. And four stars of Mexican. Look at me just doing 50 wishes at the start of the 100th episode. Not bad. Sacrificial fragments. Yeah, I already have one. I forgot that you could see on the side that you already had that from a wish before. Ooh. Converted. Nice. Hold on. I don't think I can get any more in the Stardust Exchange. Can I, I can. I can get one more. Let's go ahead and do it. And there is no more wishes I can do for today. It would be pretty much impossible. However, boom! And that's the Battle Pass. All right. Well, that's how we started off. Actually, I'm not quite done processing everything yet. Yanfei. Hmm. I actually like her a lot for fighting ice opponents like the uh, Regisfine or the Hypostasis. She's pretty good. Same with uh, Dendro Hypostasis. I use her there a lot, too. Increase maximum number of rain swords by one. I'll be honest, because I don't really use them. I don't know what that means. I'll get to using them. Just not nah, just yet. Hold on. Why am I backing out? I need a... Oh, I can't give her any more levels. I don't have enough experience. I used a lot of that up already. I'm just looking at everything flashing by the side of the screen. All right. And with that, let's get started on what's actually going to be happening this episode. Oh, is there anything I need to look at in the adventure handbook? Because I see a little marking. Here. Cool. And what we're going to do today... Is we have the lantern rites going on. It's a quick start. You should complete Archon Quest, The Crane Returns on the Wind, and Story Quest, Umbralius Orcus Chapter Act 1. First, to get the best experience from this event, you can still unlock the event and experience all the relevant story and gameplay without completing said quest if you enter it through Quick Start. But your experience will be affected as you might encounter unknown characters and relationships. They didn't used to do this. Because I remember I've gotten some quests in the past where it was they introduced me to the character on the spot. I think that's how I met uh, Hato for the first time. But we're going to quick start this. Time flies so fast. Before you know it, Lantern Rite's almost here again. It's already here. It's actually been going People on for a while. We're just late. We have already started preparing for the most important festival of the year, right? Hopefully, Paimon will be able to check out tons of great food again this year. Of course, that's what she's concerned about. Anyway, let's go to Leela Harbor and see what's up. Hold on. I saw sparkles. No, oh, I want the sparkles. I guess all you can do is observe. 
And I wanted to investigate. Because that's when you get stuff. Also, Nahida has become a regular in the party. I kicked Mona out. Which might not be the best of ideas because having Nahida and Mona might be a really, really good combination. Because then you could sprout more seeds. But I'm kind of using the Nahida Traveler with Electro ability as my play for right now. Wasn't there always something here in order to... Or do they not respawn? I was thinking there was like a little thing where you can get some uh, ge uh, geo sigils, sigils here on the side of the mountain, but I guess they don't respawn, which is disappointing because I just need a few more. All right, whatever. Let's get to this. It's not highlighted. It's not say I was to get to this quest, but yeah, it's not highlighted. Uh, a uh, thousand miles for the enigmatic tune. Yeah, this is it. Going down to Leo Way. Oh, look, it's right beside the waypoint. Love it. Don't love loading screens, though. I understand them, but. Of course it starts with Zhongli. Hi, my boots. We go say hi to Xiangling first. Why? Oh. Huh? Xiangli? What a pleasant surprise meeting you here. Oh? Why, the pleasure is all mine. As is the surprise, surely. It must be fate that He's brings here for, us like, together most in this place. How have you fared as of late? Uh, everything's been going great. Things have been going... All right. Let's go with everything's been I going sense great. you are older and wiser than the last time we met. It seems your travels continue to yield valuable insights. Thank you, Zhongli, but all we're doing is getting older. That wasn't very insightful. You are too kind. So, Zhongli, are you here to listen to stories over tea again? I had originally planned to set out after this last round of tea. Mm -hmm. However... However what? However... I had planned to take a walk to Chingsa village and gather some nascent bamboo shoots, which are currently in season. A villager there once gave me a small sample, and they possessed a most excellent flavor. Huh? Nascent bamboo shoots? Why can't you just use normal bamboo shoots instead? Because they're special? Knows, because Zhongli prefers the finer things in life, right? Okay, Mr. Particular, let me guess. Ahem. The nascent bamboo shoot has a uniquely tender texture and a delicate sweet taste that its normal cousin cannot match. I want to see his response. <laughs> An astute observation, Paimon. You know me well indeed. Lantern Rite is almost upon us, but besides the bamboo shoots, there are a few other items I have not yet procured from Director Hu's list. May I ask if you have already made arrangements for the days ahead? Uh, well, we were planning to use the opportunity to say hi to some of our friends, but before we were able to figure out a schedule, we ran into you! Because we don't consider well, you a friend. I might guess. I invite you to imagine the sheer delight that is a soup cooked with the freshest nascent bamboo shoots in all the land. Generous cuts of pork belly and crisp, fragrant bamboo shoots placed together in the pot and left to simmer slowly for half a day. I've never had anything like it. Oh, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Paimon's on to your plan. You just want to hoodwink us into fetching your bamboo for you. And Paimon is all for it. Look at those eyes. Why, I assure you, I would do no such thing. I merely yes, wish would. to inform you of the freshest, most succulent and flavorful bamboo shoots one could ever hope to taste. So we can go get them for him. Ugh. Let's go, Traveler. Paimon's taste buds can't take it anymore. Ready to go when you are. Collecting a few bamboo shoots shouldn't take too I'm long. I'm surprised that you didn't have a comment Paimon that you can make where uh, you kind of make fun of her for it. Such fine Hands on soup, that's not the best way to do it. Well worth the excursion. Very well. 
I shall leave the bamboo shoots to you. Should you have the good fortune to find some, please share them with me as well. See? See? Paimon knew he was just bamboozling us! Ha! However, there is no need to rush. The streets of Liu will be bustling with visitors and filled with all manner of celebrations during the festive period. By all means, go wherever your interests lead you. The nascent bamboo shoots would be but a wonderful final touch to a most exceptional feast. What an honor it would be to savor them in the company of friends. I understand. We will check in with you later at Wangsheng Funeral Park. <laughs> Take care now, you two. Take care of his bamboo shoes, he means. And let us get started. We will walk a thousand miles. Uh, we gotta go this direction, but it's easier to teleport. Teleportation. Oh, look, it's also right beside a waypoint. Nice! Bamboo shoot. Ow! What the? Shoot. Nascent bamboo shoot. Nascent bamboo shoot. Uh, oh! This one's only just sprouted! And it looks super fresh! Paimon thinks this is the one! Alright, got one. Got two. Three. Four. Oh, one of them was just regular. Dang, you tricked me with a regular regular. Did you hear that? Someone's nope. Calling for help. Nope, didn't He's hear it. Coming from over there. Ah, fine, I'll go help him. Yeah, yeah. That didn't sound like her. A short and slender figure rescues a drowning man. I didn't get to read it all. Are you okay? Did any water go down the wrong pipe? I think he did. <laughs> Uh, he looks fatuitous. I, uh, I think I'm okay now. He's very Thank fatuitous. Look at that collar. So much. That was Spit scary. it out, fatuitous. Well, at least you're all right. All thanks to your savior here. Oh, a little girl? Yeah, she's only slightly bigger than you, Paimon. My name is Yao Yao. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Whoa. There's some He's behind so her. Well -mannered. I'm like you. My name's Paimon. <laughs> oh, boy. Greetings. I'm Dvorak, a musician from Fontaine. Are you really? I came through Stone Gate, intending to head towards Li Yue Harbor, but then I became captive. The collar is so Naya. And before long, I was completely lost. Just now, I was so mesmerized by the waterfall that I slipped and fell into the water. If it weren't for Miss Yao Yao's help, I shudder to think what might have happened. I probably would have jumped in. Mr. Even the Vorjak seems more like it's a Shneznaya name. Slippy. You definitely have to be careful. Next time you're exploring an unfamiliar environment, try to focus on what's right in front of you. Don't let your mind wander. As or you can do both. You step, Just divide your attention properly. Anymore. Yes, ma'am. I understand. I'll remember to be more careful next time. Were you really? Oh great, he's hungry. Do we have to feed him? We probably oh, have to feed him. Are you hungry, sir? Oh, she might do it instead. Oh, uh, I'll be fine. <laughs> Please, sir, it's quite all right. I was born and raised here in Liyue. It's only natural for me to extend my hospitality to any guests who are passing through. I expect you still have quite a long journey ahead of you. It's very important to keep your energy levels up. I still have some lotus flower crisps left in my backpack. Why don't we split them between the four of us? Lotus flower crisps? Oh, what a thoughtful kid! She even has some for Paimon! Of course, that's her concern. <laughs> You're welcome. Everyone savor some delicious lotus flower crisp as they enjoy the scenery. Mm, so tasty! If only there were more. More? You already had the Sumter Beast share. I don't know what that means. Having a healthy appetite is a good thing. It means Paimon's still growing. 
If I had known I was gonna run into you, I would have made a second batch. <laughs> Hope you're taking notes, Traveler. This is how you treat your Paimon. I can treat you, you think, worse. Sir? Are Leeway's snacks to your taste? I wonder if they're not sweet enough. No, no, they're perfect. When I was traveling through Mondstadt, I had a chance to try one of their moon pies. It had a meat filling unlike these crisps. But apart from that, it seems like they follow a similar cooking process. Both are delicious in their own way. As for Fontaine's cooking, though, uh, it's been a long time since I've had a taste of home. What does home taste like? A lot of time on Try the well. Road, huh? I do. It's part of my job. I'm one of the main organizers of the Iridescence Tour. Ah. Iridescence Tour? That sounds somewhat familiar. Doesn't ring a bell. No, it sounds familiar. The Iridescence Tour is one of the biggest music festivals in Fontaine. We're looking to expand, though. Our aim is to hold a festival in every nation. So you'll be playing at Lantern Rites in Liyue, At least, aren't you? all the main organizers share this goal. Unfortunately... <sighs> It's a long story, so I'll spare you the details. What about the non-main anyway, organizers? So the main reason I'm traveling all around Tavad is to promote our music festivals. But I have some personal reasons, too. Well, Which are... What are they? Just tell us already! Yes, please, do so. Let me see. Well, to explain it in full, I'd have to start with a story from my ancestors. I don't want to take up too much of your time. It's okay. Oh, I love listening to stories! It depends on the story for me. We want to hear it too. Okay, Go ahead, spill it. Then I'll start from the beginning. At worst, I start playing the on my phone. The story goes that my ancestor, who was also a traveler, once slipped and fell into a lake during his travels. Okay. As he was sinking and gasping for breath, he heard a wondrous tune in the air. Mm -hmm. They say it was the most beautiful, moving melody he had ever heard. Even in that life and death moment, the ethereal music seized his full attention and almost made him forget the fact that he was drowning. So he drowned quicker? When he finally came to, he found that he had already been brought ashore. Not too far from him stood an unfamiliar woman with an almost divine aura. Once she saw that he was no longer in danger, she left without a word. My ancestor tried to run after her to give his thanks, but although a mere dozen paces separated them, no matter how quickly he gave chase, he drew no closer and remained a dozen paces behind. He needs to work out more. All he could do was to bow in thanks to the woman as he watched her walk away towards the rivers and mountains in the distance, before at last he turned around and made his way home. Once he returned to Fontaine, he began to learn an instrument so that he could spread his story far and wide just like the Barts. After generations of retelling, embellishing, and dramatizing, people have come to think of that lady as something like a fairy. Are we going to meet this fairy? The story's become something of a local legend in Fontaine. It's called The Lady Overlooking the Lake. People now say that if you go down to the lakeside and play an instrument, so long as you play a pleasing melody, you will hear a fairy lady who is hiding out of sight playing along with you. It's a nice legend. At heart, it's just sort of, It's a nice legend. Well, yes. As it stands now, it's become a touch too romantic and detached from reality. Mm -hmm. But I understand the original story. Well, what is reality in this world? Grounding better than anyone else. I wanted to find out the truth of this tale. So I decided to retrace my ancestors' steps and search for that lady's modern day descendants. Of course, there's no. no way of knowing where my ancestor fell into the lake all those years ago. So I always knew that the search would be akin to looking for a needle in a haystack. I've spent many years on the road now, and I'm nowhere near as fit as I was in my youth. <sighs> the wish that I've spent half my life chasing after has now become something of an obsession. Well, I haven't okay. lived half of my life yet, but still, <laughs> I understand how you must She's like eight. <laughs> <laughs> I want to comment. I haven't lived half of my life yet. Imagine if you saved the center of a lotus flower crisp. Oh, wow. Which is the best part, by the way. Because you wanted to eat it another day. But then suddenly, sploosh, it falls into the water never to be seen again. Paima would definitely remember that for the rest of her life. 
<laughs> I'd be disappointed for a There's little no while. There's no need to feel sorry for me. I have made some progress over the years. For example, I've concluded that the story must have taken place in Liyue. Oh, so you finally found a lead? Yes, in fact, that's an intriguing story in and of itself. Who tell? I'd always known that Mondstadt is the city of song and freedom. Mm -hmm. But more recently, I heard that the animal Archon returned to Mondstadt for a festival in the fall and learned that he himself is a patron deity of music. So I prayed for the animal Archon's guidance in the Mondstadt Cathedral. And as soon as I set foot back outside the front gate, I noticed a cluster of leaves being blown in the wind further and further west towards Stone Gate. A friendly local told me that this meant the wind was guiding me in the direction of Liyue. So I followed their advice and made my way here. That sells it then. It was Liyue. Because Venti would probably know. Right? You get it. I knew I'd find someone that agrees with me eventually. Hmm. Well, it's because we know Are that Archon. Sure? It sounds a bit too much like one of those fake legends told by those treasure hoarder guys to scam gullible grannies from Jingsa Village. Ha, she called you a gullible granny. Lapis has returned to the world. Just give me some incense and a little more towards the travel fees, and I will pass your gift on to the Lord of Geo and ask him to keep you and your family safe and well. And so on and so on. Well, the first sentence was Don't real. Worry, yeah, yeah. We, uh, Rex Lapis has we returned to the world. Of never really left. Did he leave? No, no, I don't care. And anyway, we just know who he is and that he's at a restaurant. Bora, right? Actually, to express my gratitude, I did spend rather a lot of more on several bottles of fine wine, which I left at the Statues of the Seven along the way. Venti oh, probably yeah. got that. No, no, no. Venti probably got it. He loves to drink. Well, He's expressed that. how about this, ladies and gentlemen? Why don't I bring you all to Yujing Terrace to see Miss Ganyu? I don't know very many people, so I can't help you out much. But Miss Ganyu and the Tsing know just about everything. If you've been scammed, they'll help you get your Mora back. And if the wind was telling the truth, and you want to keep looking for that lady's family... They'll be the best people to ask. What if you're that lady's family? That does sound like a good idea. But you've already helped me so much. Well, yeah, she did save your life. New medicinal herbs and plants I picked to miss on you anyway, so it's no trouble at all. You know what? It's been a minute since we saw Ganyu too. A few it should upsets. be nice to pay her a visit before lantern, right? Then let's get moving. All right. Well, my sincere thanks to you all. I will never forget your kindness. Okay, everyone. Please follow me. <laughs> I'll be your guide. Remember to watch where you're going, okay? Uh-oh. Ah, that was a dig. Paimon's out of a job. You had a job. Oh, well. Paimon will just be a cheerleader instead. See, that's what I thought was your job. I go to Leoa Harbor. Settling some bets. I just turned around because I wanted to get this. Gather. Which I don't think we can reach it like this. Can we? Oh, we can! Uh, let's go defeat the Fatui agent, though. Oh my gosh. Stupid rock face. Go up. <sighs> and we're up. It's you. Uh, Howie. Life goes on. Stabilize. Yeah, lightning flash. Can't run from dead. Easy. All right, now let's go back to Leeway Harbor. Why do we have to go all the way here? Why can't we go closer to our waypoint? All right, so let's glide. Well... 
Only the guards are standing at the gate, not any of the characters that we need to be working with. Puppy. And I had to get that close. Sometimes it just cuts it off and I fall to my death. Wow. After the cutscene is over. Leeway Harbor looks very different from when I came last. When'd you last come? It's almost as if I'm listening to the same melody, but with a richer timbre and new variations added. Well, uh. they are here during Lantern Ride after all. It only comes once a year, so they always have a big celebration. It's fair to say that this time of year is when Leeway Harbor looks the prettiest. Pretty. Let's go and check it out. Okay. I can't wait to get into the city and see it all up close for myself. I bet you can't. The streets are breathtaking. Smiles and you laughter what? everywhere I look. Oh, it's contagious. I can almost feel the music in the air. I have the urge to start waving my conductor's baton. <laughs> Not playing your guitar. I that you're enjoying the city. Oh my gosh, you don't have to keep stopping. I'm not going that slow, am I? No, I'm fine. We'll switch to running. Keep up, homie. All right, I switched to Chi Chi. Oh, hey, everyone. A fancy meeting you all here. What a nice surprise. Yeah, it's not surprising to see you. It makes sense that you're here. Hello, Shen Yan. Let me introduce some new friends. They are... Traveler Paimon and Mr. Dvorak, right? Oh, you know him? <laughs> I've known them all for quite a while. So you already know each other. <laughs> when I was last here to advertise a Liwe stop for the Iridescence Tour, Shin Yen was one of the few people willing to give me the time of day. Well, it's nighttime right now, so I don't know what you're expecting. It feels like I've been chasing this Iridescence Tour bandwagon halfway around the world, but I keep getting stood up. What's going on, Mr. Dvorak? Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, Shin Yen. We've had a string of terrible luck recently, and every time we've tried to put on a show, something or other has come up to stop our plans from materializing. Like what? Is that right? Hmm, I guess it can't be helped. I guess not. So, what brings you to Leoy Harbor at this time of year, anyway? Thinking of putting on a music festival during the Lantern Rite celebrations? A Lantern Rite music festival? Yes, please! No, I think uh, I'm on for a food I'm festival. I'm actually here on personal business this time. Oh, so no Lantern Rat music festival? We can still do that. I mean, that's not just up to me. Hosting a music festival takes a lot of funding and personnel. Moreover, I've never worked with the Leeway authorities before. Even if I were to start putting something together right now, I think it'd be too rushed. Wait, but we're going to meet the Leeway Chishing, aren't we? And they're the ones in charge. Uh-huh, that's right. Miss Kuching and Miss Ningguang can make anything happen. You mean, what? <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity. Well, sure, it might not work out, but it can't hurt to bring it up as a suggestion. A Lanternite Music Festival would be something different. It would be a huge hit. That's the spirit. See, even the traveler agrees with me. Mr. Dvorak, don't let yourself be put off by the fact that a few things haven't worked out recently. Is my opinion supposed to be on high standing? The performers, I can put you in touch with some local artists. My friend Yunjin is a well-known opera singer in Liyue. With her support and a commissioned song from the Yunhan Opera Troupe, we should be able to get something going. Well, what about you, Xinyan? Are you just going to sit this one out? <laughs> what do you take me for? Of course she won't. actually managed to make the Iridescence Tour Lantern Rock Grand Concert a reality, you think I'd let anyone else perform the opening act? Ah, There's that rock and roll spirit! <laughs> what do you say, Mr. Dvorak? Hmm. He's really pondering. Okay. I'll give it a shot. But the opening act is not something to be chosen lightly, Shinyan. I will judge your work by the strictest of standards, so please make sure you are fully prepared. Hmm. Are you kidding? I thought you'd never ask! 
She Ooh, welcomes the challenge. Time's getting cut short. I'm gonna head back right away and start working on this. Yow yow. If you run into your senior on the way to the cheese shank, please send her my regards. Okay. Who's her senior? I promise I will. Good luck with your music, Shinyan. Who's her senior? You've got this, Shinyan. So about the senior of yours, Shinya mentioned just now. Is that any Momino? Yes, it's Shangling. She's oh. mentioned you two before. Wait, Shang so she's known about us? thinking about cooking. Whenever she gets scrapes or burns, she just leaves them to heal by themselves. She definitely needs someone around her to look after her. So that's I your job? You must have looked out for her a lot too Wait, in the you time you've known her. So thank you for that. Wait, wait, wait. Are you a healer? Like, do we have a new healing character that we can use? Let's go faster. We can't go faster. Not really, really. Let's just keep running. I could glide down, but no, let's just keep running. Want some lotus heads. Go. And some fish, maybe. Excuse me, ladies. Don't mind me. I'm just over here uh, doing something that I'm probably not supposed to be doing. I'm being real. But then again, who cares? Who's going to stop me? The cheese thing? We tight! And they couldn't beat me anyway. All right. Where are we? Oh, we just go straight. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Ah, oh, that's you mean by master. Nadia. I'm not about to run off anywhere. I'm not a bundle of energy like you. I haven't seen you in days, master. I've missed you. Oh. Oh, bless you, Yao Yao. You do say the sweetest things. How come we don't oh, ever hear her bells when? Visiting friends during the lantern ride, are we? She moves around. Greetings, Madam Ping. You're half right, Madam Ping. We were also trying to help out Mr. Dvorak over here. We were on our way to take him to see the Qixing. Uh, hello, ma'am. I am a musician from Fontaine and an organizer of the Iridescence Tour. I don't suppose you've heard of it. Master, Master! The Iridescence Tour is a super famous music festival! Oh, an old lady like me wouldn't know much about that sort of thing. A music festival, you say? It sounds terribly exciting. If we could add some musical elements to Lantern Rites. Oh, right! Madam Bing, how would you feel about that? You're an elder of Liyue, and you know all about Liyue's cultural traditions. Hearing your thoughts would definitely help us figure out how best to approach it. For example, do you think it might be a bit too modern, or is there any other issue? Why, not at all. Music pays homage to history and culture, and it can also be a bridge between different civilizations. I'm glad she's not a closed-minded old person. Times change, They're always annoying. and the music enjoyed by the youngsters of today is no doubt very different from the tunes I was accustomed to in my youth. Yeah. Nevertheless... All fine things in life can be appreciated. And so, I look forward to it immensely. That's great. Hear, hear. I do believe that, my own dear grandmother aside, you are the wisest old lady I've ever met. Adding old to it it's doesn't gracious. make it nice, right? suspiciously Don't sweet today. Yao Yao, whatever have you been feeding them? Lotus crisps. Master, you're in such a great mood today. You're even cracking jokes with the rest of us. Oh, well. I'm sure you must have plenty to be getting on with. Yes? Run along now. Don't let me hold you up. Thanks, Madam Ping. We'll see you again soon. I still never use the serenity pot that she gave us. 
because you need friends for that. And I'm a very solo player. Where are we going now? Uh... How much though? We probably could have just ran a little bit. This was very unnecessary of me. Um, be far enough away that we won't die the moment we get too close to it. Got you! It's been like five episodes, maybe? And when you meet with the Ministry of Civil Affairs, Please remind them that the Those festivities are, are not an excuse to procrastinate their work. Understood, Miss Ganyu. I'll take my leave now. Ganyu! What brings you here, Yao Yao? I've brought all the medicine you asked me to pick for you. Oh, and here's a pack of sweet flower seeds as well. Uh, also, also, these dried chingshin leaves make a great pot of tea that's very good for you. She has a lot of stuff to go over. I know you've had a lot to deal with at work recently, but you shouldn't push yourself too hard. She always if pushes you're herself careful, too hard. You'll end up falling asleep in the grass again. Wait, what? Well, this is weird. It's like a responsible younger sister talking to their disorganized older sister. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> ah, she's embarrassed. I'm on, you're running your mouth again. <laughs> Thank you, but Paimon's criticism is quite valid. I do have a tendency to neglect matters outside of work, and that's mm -hmm. something I should improve on. Oh, my apologies. I don't believe we've been introduced. Ah, Paimon will do the honors. Paimon tells Ganyu about him, about his family history, but... Uh... I can't read faster than the it displays it. Everything a bit too fast. It's yes. an ambitious plan. If there's anything you didn't quite catch, Paimon's more than happy to go over it again. Go for it. 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 It may be a little difficult to make this happen. Why? Well, What's wrong? The Lantern Rite is the most important festival of the year. Okay. Our celebrations must not only be visually spectacular but also appeal to the tastes of Leoa citizens from all walks of life. The Iridescence Tour is relatively unknown in Leo. It's difficult to predict how a brand new show will be received. It would be quite risky for us to bet everything on this one music festival. Is it really betting everything, though? Uh, all very valid points. I completely understand. Yeah, the people Therefore, of Leo are asking will not for it, though. Replace or cancel any of our pre-existing program. However, I will submit a proposal requesting to put the Iridescence Tour special performance as the final act of this year's festivities. That's Some fine. Live music will certainly add to the festive atmosphere on the night of the Lantern Rite. As for the venue, hmm, let's reserve a space at the docks. So we're not stealing anyone's thunder, but we will be ending the night on a high note. Yes. My thoughts precisely. Now I just need to take some time to give this proposal some polish. How much as time long you as need? I clearly lay out the pros and cons and highlight the key points of the proposal, given that Ping and the Traveler have both given the idea their blessing, I'm confident that Qixing will be sure to give it serious consideration. I am held Mr. in high regards. I will need to discuss with you the number of musicians who will be coming to Liyue, as well as their catering and accommodation requirements. Oh, yes, certainly. Let's step to the side and discuss further. What should we do in the meantime? As soon as there's work to do, Ganyu's as diligent as ever. I couldn't agree more. Master once said that everyone has things that they are good at and things that they are less good at. So... But with that in mind, Ganyu shouldn't feel compelled to become perfect at absolutely everything. I'm good at taking care of people, so that can be left to me. Wow. Hey, Yo-Yo, can you take care of Paimon, too? Paimon's getting hungry again. Paimon, you're trying to freeload again. I'm afraid my backpack's empty now, but if you let me know what you like, I can bring you some of your favorite dishes next time we meet. 
Apart from lotus flower crisps, what else do you like? You don't have to humor my mom, it's okay. And anything that's made from slimes. Sounds awkward. I like to eat anything made from slimes. It's, that's just I've weird. So far. Anything Granted, else we don't have slimes in our world, but still. No, this is excellent. I'm racking my brains, but I don't think you've missed a single thing. Perfect. Then we'll leave it as is. I'll go make an official copy. Oh, perfect timing. We were just wrapping up our discussion here. That was quick. Not at all. Every second counts for a complex proposal such as this. I will inform the Qixing of this development immediately. Please give me a moment to pass on the message. Yao Yao, thank you for bringing my herbs. I will make sure to take them. Remember to make tea from them first, Ganyu. You mustn't just chew them raw. Uh, does she do that? I, I will. Yep, she does. She does that. She does that. Okay, I should be getting back. If Yao Yao stays out for too long, Mom and Dad will be worried sick. You've been out for Everyone, really long. I'm sure that the music festival will go off without a hitch, so don't worry. And in case I don't see you before, I wish you all a very happy lantern rite. Thank you, Yao Yao. Happy lantern rite to you, too. We should go get dinner together sometime! <laughs> of course, this is what Paimon screams out. We should all get dinner sometime! Stay put and wait for two hours. You know how we're gonna handle that. We can't just really stay put. That works. And right into the next cutscene. After a short wait, uh, greetings, Traveler, Paimon, and Mr. Dvorak. Call me Kuching. Ganyu has brought me I don't up think to I've seen her since the last lantern, right? I'll get straight to the point. The Qixing have approved Ganyu's proposal. Over the next few days, I will be working with Mr. Dvorak on behalf of the Qixing to facilitate the organization of this concert. Woo Yay! That's awesome! Kitching strikes again. <laughs> Please. The Qixing have a duty to deal with matters such as these. Yeah, she said duty. merely moved things forward to the next step. On a more personal note, I am an avid supporter of all things new and innovative. As such, it is my privilege to work with you on this exciting project. Thank you so much, Kuching. I'd become quite discouraged after our recent failures and was expecting the same outcome once again, so I didn't dare to get my hopes up. Well, get them up! Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined this going so smoothly. It's like a dream come true. You right. see the nail in Dragon's Time Fire for me to here. call in the performers. To stage a concert at a high-profile event like this is a rare opportunity. We'll make sure it's a night to remember. Yes! Our music man's finally getting fired up! Yes, indeed. I know exactly what I'm doing from here. For a musician, music will always be the language they are most fluent in. Yeah, they can branch out in other areas. What about the fairy lady? Oh, that... Well, that can wait for another time. Oh? Ganyu? What's wrong? They Ganyu told me knows. all about Mr. Dvorak's situation, but I was so engrossed in drafting the proposal that oh. I forgot all about it. Oh, that's quite all right. I, I don't even know what the person I'm trying to find looks like, so it was always going to be a long shot. But don't worry about me, Ganyu. Uh, your time and energy are needed elsewhere. I I'm sure you already have plenty to deal with between this concert and everything else going on during the Lantern Rite. And Leo Wei in general. It was just that I had a few initial thoughts when I heard your story. For instance, I wonder if this lady your ancestor met might have been an adeptus. What do you think? It's definitely a possibility. We don't have enough information yet, but to it's definitely a possibility. The truth, Mr. Dvorak, I am somewhat related to the Adepti myself. I am part human and part Chilin. The Chilin is an illuminated beast. I know how important your quest to get in touch with your roots must be to you, because I've been there myself before, trying to find out where I belonged. I remember Did you that say mission. the Adepti? And you're 
illuminated beast? Part Chilin? Are you telling me all the rumors of the Li Yue Adepti are real? Yeah. So it's not just artistic license? No. You bet they're real. Trying to track them down is tough, though. Like Julian Karst itself. There's nothing specifically stopping you from going there, but getting in and out of there is quite an ordeal. Yes. Anyway, if you're looking to uncover a lost melody or shine light on a forgotten aspect of Leo's cultural history, I'm probably not the best person to ask. Yeah, probably not. But if it's a person you're looking for, then I just might be able to help. Cool. I see. I think I understand the situation now. In that case, Ganyu, shall we divide the work between us? Yes, that was also my thought. Great. So Mr. Dvorak and I will concentrate on things here in the city to make sure the concert goes according to plan. In the meantime, Ganyu will reach out to our network and try to find the person he's looking for. What about me? How's your workload at the moment? Will you be able to make time? I can probably get through everything in two days, as long as I don't sleep. Wow. Wait, what do you mean, as long as I don't sleep? Even for someone with illuminated beast blood in their veins, working for such an extended period without a break will take its toll on your health. Somehow that does not sound persuasive coming from Kuching. Be it but three moons from the start, he who returns is not he that departs. Hmm. Even I know the importance of maintaining a healthy work-life balance. In that case, three days. All right, I can work with that. If you have the time, would you join me for this search? You're well known to many of the Adepti and respected among the people. I'll feel much more at ease with your company. Yay, something that Aether can do. Of course. Okay, then let's meet back here in three days. Oh, so I still gotta wait three days? Watch this space, Mr. Dvorak. We'll get to the bottom of this. You're all so helpful and kind. I, I really... I just... <sighs> just think. Imagine if we found the Adeptus Lady or one of her descendants and got them to come to the performance. Wouldn't that be amazing? It'd be such a happy reunion. And that's exactly what this festival's all about. I'm sure the wind that guided you here feels the same way. You're right. Okay, I'm going to pull out all the stops to make this lantern ride a true extravaganza. We should probably get going. Mr. Dvorak, could you come with me to confirm the site? Ooh, we're coming to you! Huh, something to do in the meantime while we wait for Ganyu. I was wondering, what are your thoughts on music? What does it mean to you? Uh... Music sounds nice. That's very superficial, but I feel like that's how most people kind of are. Truth be told, the question of what music means to people is one that I've been pondering for quite some time. It depends on the person. Let's revisit this question after the concert. For some people, it's just background music. For some people, it's something that helps get them through a difficult time. It really just depends on who you ask. Gee, I wonder where we're going to be checking out. Ow. Oh, boy, didn't take any damage. Lady Yuhong? Baiwen, what is it? Per Lady Ningguang's orders, I've been gathering intelligence outside of the city with the goal of uncovering and dispatching any trouble ahead of the festival. Well, that's what we're going to be doing next. A strange melody was heard somewhere along the coast. I was wary of investigating further on my own, so I was just on my way to report this incident to Lady Ningguang. But I'm worried that if we don't act right away, we may miss the window of opportunity to take appropriate action. I understand. In that case, I... Let us handle this one. Also, what makes it a strange melody? Yeah, Kuching, you're busy enough as it is. There's a ton of different things in the city that needs your attention. Leave it to us. Don't worry, whatever it is, we'll definitely be able to handle it. Uh, well, he will handle it. Thank with you for clarifying that. On the case, Clarifying. It's as good as dealt with. Thank you. This will be a great help. 
I will inform Lady Ningguang about the situation. Once it's resolved, please come and find me again at Yujing Terrace and let me know. Okay. And say hi to Ningguang for us. You have my thanks too. Stay safe and come back as soon as you're finished. Will do. Thank you. All right, go to the place the by one mentioned. Over there. How come he didn't question anything about the melody? Because isn't this all what this is based off of for him? Is following somebody, his ancestor following somebody that played a strange melody? Made him forget that he was drowning. Chi Chi, can you stop doing that? That's weird. Stop it! No, oh, we haven't been over here in a while. And here we go, cutscene. Byron said the strange tomb is coming from around here, right? But Byron doesn't hear anything. There doesn't seem to be a soul in. I was just wondering who in their right mind would come out to a place like this. So, it's you two. Yelan! Yelan. I haven't met her yet. She was one of the ones that's blocked me from doing this without quick start. Kind of spooked you that bad. Yep, here we go. Yelan. Valley Orchid. As a special intelligence officer working under Ningwang, Yalan. Uh, Yalan it comes and goes like a shadow. Even the ruling uh, Chi Sing, with their vast powers, must find some dark corner. Might must find some dark corners hard to reach. Uh, this is where she comes in, with her task being to clean these corners up by dint of her exceptional capabilities as an intelligence agent. Dint. Dint. I'd say it's didn't, but there is also pint. It's spelled the same, except for you just flip the letter. I think it's didn't. I've never heard of that word. A word to the wise. Do not try to lie to her. Her falsehoods may last as long as fragile bubbles before her meticulous thoughts. You, you, fair enough. Know anything about the strange music? Ah, you're here for that too? Saves me a bit of explaining. Come yeah, well, with me. I've already reconned the perimeter, so we should be safe. You are worried? Uh, investigate clues. Look! A clue! A clue! Hmm. The stuff by the door is in pretty good condition, though. It can't have been too long ago that someone was last living here. Okay. Examine the window. This place is completely empty. There's nothing valuable left here at all. Are you saying the building has no value too? And the door. The doors and the windows are all fine. So there definitely wasn't a break-in. I didn't know a break-in was on the table. Except for the fact that there's no sign of a struggle. Hmm. The bad guys could have sneaked in while the owner was gone, but then how do you explain why the door and windows are intact? Seems you've done a pretty thorough inspection. So, any theories on what might have happened here? No. Jaylon, you didn't hide some of the evidence from us on purpose, did you? Yeah, did Why would you? I make this more difficult for you? We're on the same side here. Okay, well, Maybe you get your kicks from it. Paimon gives up then. Paimon's got nothing. Not unusual. What about you? Give up as well? Uh, it's difficult to theorize with so little evidence. It must have something to do with the ma that melody. Yep. It's not obvious at first sight, that's for sure. To know? be honest, I was only able to put it all together because of some background knowledge about this area. A long time ago... There used to be a group of bandits in the Liyue countryside who would sound a horn every time they were about to raid a village. 
But it wasn't a rallying cry to rouse their fellow men. It was a disconcerting tune, meant to intimidate the weak and warn them of their impending doom. To escape with their lives, the villagers would abandon their homes and flee overnight, taking only their most valuable belongings with them. Everything else was left behind. The bandits were eventually brought to justice, but the fear and trauma remained in the villagers' hearts. That's sad. Whenever they heard that melody, they would feel like their lives were in danger once again and flee immediately. The culprit of this crime exploited that very fear to get access to this house without having to force their way in. Huh. That's quite the story. The victims obviously will have gotten quite a fright, but at least they won't be in any great danger. The important thing now is to find this copycat criminal. If we use elemental sight... On any other day, that'd probably be a good idea. Unfortunately, it's not gonna work today. Why not? Take a look around and you'll see what I mean. This criminal is clearly well-versed both in using music to commit crimes and in making a clean getaway. Not only did they stay the off the muddy road to avoid leaving footprints, it looks like they were also careful not to bring any gadgets with so much as a trace of elemental energy. Evidently, they were intent on keeping even the most experienced investigators off their trail. Unfortunately for them, I'm one of the best trackers in the business. They're not about to get away with their little scheme on my watch. So basically, if we want to find the culprit, we just need to follow you on. It seems like someone's watching us. Mm hmm. As long as you can keep up. Since the culprit's trying to be cautious and low risk, I'll bet they left through an area with some vegetation for cover, but not so much that it would slow them down. What's that mean? Oh, it's raining. No, it's not raining. It's storming. There's a difference. Here, look at this. These tracks are superficial, but they definitely didn't occur naturally. Something heavy was being dragged this way, meaning we're headed in the right direction. Oh, when you're wet, you turn blue with elements of sight? Interesting. Huh. Their pace is increased. Normally, people carrying a heavy load slow down as their journey goes on and they start to tire. Whatever's motivating them to speed up must be psychological. Oops. Sorry for doing for that to instance, your trail. Reaching the home stretch. Yeah, like when you did track in high school and you didn't want to, but you got to the final stretch and you sprinted out. And then your coach told you afterwards that you should, probably should have spread that out amongst the whole thing, to which you didn't have that type of energy during the whole thing. You just wanted to get it over with. There they are! Look! A treasure hoarder tent! Ugh, not the treasure hoarders again! It's so close to Lantern Ride, too! Tis it's fine. the season for their antics! We do great okay. in the rain. Let's round them up. Let's go around them up. After we get this score. Quake. And these two. These two. Gimme. And gimme. All right, it's time to go over to the treasure hoarders. Also, I got to break that little wall right there in front of us. I noticed that as we were approaching. Break. One man's stone is another man's gem. Eh, weird comment. So they're, they're, they are legit here, right? It's not just that empty camp. It does just explain it as a camp. Oh, I'm stealing everything that glimmers. The prelude to new life. Soon, this land will be blue. All that glitters is not gold. Oh, oh, thanks. Well, I guess we're just going to make conversation. Hey, who are you? Where did you come from? Uh, we walked over here and 
Hmm. We're part of the cheesing. The evidence is conclusive. I guess you can say. Okay. Confess, and we'll go easy on you. My patience is running low, so why don't you do us both a favor, hmm? Mm. You kidding me? You think I'm scared of you? Uh, it's just because you don't know yet. Perhaps You finna not, learn. But you should be. This is called messing around and finding out. Oh, we're using her? Quiet now. We're using only her. Oh, this is easy. Curses. Seems like you're not all talk after all. But there's no going back now. Better up my game. Who? Hit it and it froze on mercy. wet. Have mercy. Oh, it's really? a little late for that. I've come this <laughs> far. I might as well finish the job. Ooh. I surrender. I surrender, please. I'll do whatever you say. Please have mercy. <laughs> Tell us everything. How come it's just one guy, though? I have one chance. And I'm warning you. Don't make me ask twice. Mm, I won't. I swear. Be careful. Um, you know, so Lantern Rite's nearly here. Uh -huh. Like a lot of people, I wanted to buy a few nice things. Okay. I know I'm with the treasure hoarders and everything, but... I don't really have any kind of experience with robbing people and whatnot. So I, uh, I don't have the guts to break into somebody's house. Wow, you're really going to complain to us about that? <laughs> Good no, point. not at all. I'm just telling it how it is. Okay. okay. Continue. I racked my brains trying to think of what I could do. And eventually, I remembered something from back when I was a kid. The bandits would blow their horn. And my grandma would grab us kids and run. So you decided to be I the same the terrorist tune, to terrorize so you I, as a kid? I figured I'd try it for myself. I mean, just to see what would happen. At first, anyway, I seriously didn't expect that family to pack up and leave. But they did. And they just left all their stuff right there for the taking. It was too easy. I just... I couldn't resist. Well, now you're not it buying anything from anything, right? You're going to prison. I know that now. I'll return everything that I took... It's all still in perfect condition, and will be like it was never gone. You're leaving it out Please, in the rain. Give me a chance, huh? Let me make it right. Give you a chance, huh? Sounds to me like you'd rather strike some kind of a deal than spend lantern right behind bars. Mm. Yes. Yes. Of course you want to be behind bars. You know how to bargain, I'll give you that. It's not really a it's bargain. It's just a pity that you didn't confess at the first opportunity. You'll have to take a walk with me. Once we've returned the goods, we'll find the owner of the house, and you can apologize to them in person. After that, I'll escort you to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yes, ma'am! You know, as a former victim of this kind of crime yourself, I doubt anyone understands the fear you inflicted quite as well as you do. Exactly! Does your greed matter more to you than your fear? More to the point, if you can play a tune from memory, don't you think you should be capable of making an honest living? Uh, that one I don't quite agree with. <laughs> Just because you can do it doesn't mean other people will recognize you for it. You'll have plenty of time to reflect on all of this yourself. There's not much left to wrap up, so I'll take it from here. Guess this is where I'll say goodbye. Sure. Hmm. What is it? Is there something else? I'm still not sure how you first got your hands on this information. So play it safe when you get back. Don't mention to anyone that you ran into me out here. You helped a lot with the investigation and arrest anyway, so it's perfectly fair for you to get all the credit. Just take it. It works better for me, too. See you when I see you. And happy lantern right. Yeah. Um, hey, happy lantern right. With her taking it from here, it's as good as resolved. Whoosh! Random event, a strange melody, complete. Although, it's kind of a shame that we never got that treasure hoarder guy to play the melody again. Quite curious myself. Right? How could anyone not be? When we were chatting with Mr. Dvorak, music seemed like such a positive thing. And most music is, right? It can mm. help us relax. Feel all warm and fuzzy, recall happy memories, or even just think happy thoughts. It can also bring a sense of anxiety. It could be used to commit crime. Urgency. Energy. Different things. 
It comes down to the ill will of the user. Uh, their bad deeds influence the emotions associated with the music. Oh, really? Huh. Makes sense. <gasps> Paimon's musical understanding improves again. Well, anyway, wow. now that everything's resolved, let's get back to Liyue Harbor. Paimon's still waiting for us with our random event rewards. All right. Well... We've been doing this for over an hour. This is going to take more than just one recording. If I want to keep it to about an hour recordings, I definitely don't want to pass two hours. I think if I were to keep going, this would all pass two hours. So I'm going to end it here. And the next episode... Oh, I didn't mean to flip it around. The next episode will be a half episode. And then after that, we'll be back onto Lantern Right. So that'll be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Deuces. Dang it. Deuces. Still not satisfied with that, but whatever. So I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an 8K wet working. The roaches get the race spray. My weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, Million Man March and Sparta, mixed with a legion of angels surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert eagle waving it at Caesar. So if I was you, I probably wouldn't mention me 